Good, good team win, uh, Doug. I think a lot of people contributed, right? Which is, you know, which is a, a, a small step forward to get to get a, a bunch of comp contributions and get um, some really good quality minutes. Uh, even though they're 11, 10, 9, 11, but they were good. They were good for the most part by the guys coming off the bench and and um, you know everybody. I thought on the on the starting group contributed, you know, pretty well. With Gary and four backups to start the second quarter, and it worked very, very well. What was the thinking behind that group? To get him shots yeah. and three tall guys. Well, I'm just uh, again, I'm just um, it, was, it was something we've been working on. Uh, Michael asked me before the game what we worked on. I, I can't I can't tell you that we worked on you know a zone exclusively with the second unit. So we 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 have been like with that group of guys, just trying to work on. Um, you know, just some kind of idea that will help them defensively, and it's it helped them just in transition instead of running back trying to figure out who they're guarding and getting cross matched and all this kind of just gets them back to a spot and and let it lets them get that thing set up. So that was kind of the plan, and and um, you know took everybody out of there, which was a big I think a risk, right? You know to do it, um, but we got to make some steps forward to be able to get some some rest for those guys and get some contributions from the other. So we hit the lottery in the first half, right? Not so much in the second. However, um, I think it was 13 to five run that at least it was three minutes and 30 seconds and not 90 seconds. Right, so I think in the overall scheme of it, it was a huge plus, and um, and uh, those guys, and I think for the first time out, and and not really knowing what it's going to look like, it was it was uh, a good um, success. Do you think Christian is sort of finding his? I don't know if it's second wind or, or just simplifying things for himself. But do you think he's found anything? In well, the I just, I just, again? yeah, I just think that he f he looks like he's moving a lot better, right? He's running better. He's jumping better. Um, and, and again, like, man, if they would ever not call foul every time he swings to block a shot, he would really be, pl I mean, just think about all these blocks that he's getting that are, I mean, those seem to be, those seem to be clean enough, getting a lot of ball to like hardly, you know, he, he, he takes six swats and he gets one block and five fouls and could easily go the other way. You know, some of those shot blockers, they let him block everything, right? And and uh, that'll come with time. Sort of a weird game just in terms of the whistles and the stoppages and reviews. How, how tough is it to get a rhythm, maintain a rhythm as a team in a game like that? Um, well, it was a little weird, right? You said it though. I didn't. Okay, you said it. Um, it was. It was just. I got to keep playing through it. And it was. It was. You know, there were some big momentum plays, right? Like like us on a two on one and a hand in the net call um, that ends up in a three for them at the end of the court. You know, there was a lot of uh, a couple reversals on some challenges. Just money make sure that was a successful challenge. I don't know how they deem that successful. <laughs> they, they, that one should be a what's what's in the middle of unsuccessful and sex, successful. That was a neutral. Moderate. The result of the um, challenge was neutral. <laughs> the call stands, but we're moving the foul to another raptor. How can you say that's a success? <laughs> I say it's exciting. Anyway, on we go. <laughs> kind of right is technically right. I, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Fred made those two catch and shoot threes mm. in the fourth quarter. But mm -hmm. He didn't have spectacular numbers, but that's the kind of big plays. He hasn't been making a ton of them, but you guys really need. What do you think? Yeah, and I, th and I think OG hit a couple too, right? I think, um, you know, I think we're kind of used to that late in fourth quarters. Those cu those two guys, you know, hitting one or two of those and, and changes the scoreboard and the moment and the like changes a lot of things, but changes the scoreboard most importantly, right? Those are big baskets, and you keeps your six-point lead to nine or your five-point lead, you know, and that's what I think we've done really well. This team has, you know, when they're in the past or whatever, like we've got these little four or five-point leads. It's getting down to crunch time, and we, and we make, that, make that big play.
Scotty, shot. Scotty saw a ton of space again tonight. How do you think he handled that? Well, much better. So I thought I thought that just in general, Scotty and both Scotty and Pascal played much more in rhythm tonight. Like like stuff would happen and it'd get kicked out to him and they just take the rhythm shot, you know, and that's, I kept saying that, you know, throughout the game and at halftime, I really stressed it. I'm like, like, we've, we've generated, we hit the paint, we've generated a kick out three, take, just take it. Like just, every, you know, everybody, once we've hit the paint and it comes out and we've done some actions and stuff, like we don't want to look for another action. We've already generated probably the best shot we're going to in that possession. Usually when you turn down, catch and shoot threes, not usually, but more often than not, you end up with a worse shot than you already had, looking for something better. So you take, you take the, the rhythm, good one, even if it's early in the offense, you take it, and and I think that's what both Scotty and Pascal did. Before the game, you talked about uh, Precious kind of just finding his rhythm and giving yep. him that opportunity to do so. Did you think that he was playing in rhythm, and especially in that first shift he had with four points? Well, he was part of the group, again, that, um, you know, I... I, I We'd, I'd like to get him like way up in the minutes category at some point, similar to what he was doing last year, you know, in the in the 20s or mid 20s or or whatever, um, and use him that way, like like he was, you know, the second half of last year. Um, that is going to take a minute here just because of the funkiness of what we got going on and how, trying to get stuff off the bench and how that's kind of manifested itself here lately. So um, I thought he did did do a good, great job. I thought he looked good. He looked, you know, those guys were those guys were flying around. They were creating loose balls. They were blocking shots. He made a couple nice buckets. Um, um, and then, you know, I think he's getting closer. So, man, I think that... Um, he can get out of that group and in with the other, you know, maybe come in as one of the early subs in the first or whatever, and then maybe maintain with that group in the second too. We'll, we'll see how it all goes. You guys had more scoring out of the role this game that had Scotty, Christian, even yeah. the Precious pinching in for that ball from out yep. and with a bunch of different points going downhill over that yeah. play today. Actually just rolling. It was. I mean, just way more consistently, but it's a really good question because it's it's – it's um, when they're playing in such a deep paint drop position, right? You're thinking, well, what am I going to roll to? I'm going to roll right to my guy. So I think that makes you feel like you should pop more because that's where the open space is. That's true in one sense, but you still can put pressure on. And now if the ball's going downhill, he's got to decide at some point, is he going to help the ball or not? And I think, I think that... Um, that uh, the rolling was was big time effective. We got a couple dunks. We got a couple little layups. Um, and even if we didn't, it wasn't freezing us like it was a bit. Um, I can't remember the game, but there was a game where we were getting a ton of pocket passes and like f stopping at the free throw line. With usually those are kickouts. I think it was a New York game. Right? Usually those are hit there, and somebody collapses on that guy and their kickouts. But they were staying home on that, and we were not really having anything else to do with it so using the momentum just to go attack them man go attack them try to make a, a tough shot try to jump up over the top of them try to move it around them or try to get to the free throw line Scotty and Thad seemed to get in a disagreement to start the second quarter or, or second half uh, I think it was during warm-ups did you see what happened and if you talked to either of them no. When what? When was it though? Was it? Was it between half half halftime warmups? <laughs> halftime warmups? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. So I will. Uh, I may or may not investigate that. There. Okay. You can ask me again tomorrow okay. if you want to. <laughs> And I will let everyone know that both Friday and Scotty are available. Uh, to be ready. Thanks, Doug.